What drew these three here together to fight under the noonday sun? What caused these horns to sprout from the head of the mortally wounded? And whence came this power to split the ocean thus, revealing an ancient city once lost to the waters of time? Is this a miracle of medicine or a power as yet unknown? In today's program, we'll be getting closer to the mysterious past of a familiar face. I'm talking about Don Hong and Baby Delune. Today's guest claims to know all about Empire Delune's power. Please welcome Miss March 7. Hi everyone, that's me. And yeah, I could sense Don Hung's secret strength before we even got to Bellabog. Really? Yep, nothing gets past me. <laughs> is everyone with pink hair a psychic? <clears throat> and Bible Lune is an imaginary type character following the path of destruction. With his Vidiotera strength, he is able to command water at will, channeling tides into devastating attacks. And Vibrata Lunae's basic attack, Beneficent Lotus, is a two-hit combo that deals imaginary damage to a single target. Aww, I used to have a yo-yo. Uh, his skill, Drake or Libre, liberates his power in stages, thereby enhancing his basic attack. This ability doesn't consume skill points or constitute using a skill, but selecting the basic attack button consumes corresponding enhanced layers of skill points. When consuming a skill point to use Transcendence, he delivers a three-hit combo dealing damage to a single target. Ooh! <laughs> When consuming two skill points to use Divine Spear, Ambarbiter Lune delivers a five-hit combo, dealing damage to a single target. Adjacent enemies also receive damage starting from the fourth hit. Nice! When consuming three skill points to use Fulgrin Leap, Ambarbiter Lune delivers a seven-hit combo, dealing damage to a single target. Adjacent enemies also receive damage starting from the fourth hit. It's worth mentioning that starting from the fourth hit, every hit of both Divine Spear and Fulgrant Leap may receive a buff. This buff increases his crit damage, lasts until the end of the turn, and stacks up to a set limit. Huh? Is someone on fire? March 7th, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I just never knew Don Hung's secret strength was so complicated. Wait a second, you fought side by side with this guy. Isn't this old news to you? Uh, in the heat of the moment we're protecting each other? I can't remember every detail. <laughs> Let's get back on track. And Barbara de Lune's talent, Righteous Heart, allows him to increase his damage dealt after every hit. This talent stacks up to a set limit and lasts until the end of the turn. Oh, I get it. The more hits he lands, the stronger his yo-yo becomes. In the interest of science, I'm obliged to point out that that isn't a yo-yo. But I would like to know what Imbiber Lune calls it. During exploration, when he uses his technique, Heaven Quilling Prisma Dracon, he enters a leaping dragon state. Using an attack causes him to lunge forwards a set distance, blocking all attacks. Whoa! Oh, that's gonna come in handy next time we're on a wanted list. Are you planning on being on a wanted list? Anyway, this move isn't just about making an escape. If Imbiber de Lune attacks an enemy and enters battle while in the Leaping Dragon state, he deals imaginary damage to all enemies and acquires a set amount of Squamasanka Sancta. This can be used to offset Imbiber de Lune's skill point consumption. Squamasanka Sancta stacks up to a set limit. When Imbiber de Lune unleashes his ultimate, the Azure Dragon descends in a deluge, cleansing the mortal world of impurities. Uh, if he'd used that during spring cleaning, we'd be done in no time. Imbiber de Lune deals a three-hit combo, dealing imaginary damage as well as obtaining a set amount of Squamasanka Sancta. Ooh, a group of adversaries have decided to block the path of our young hero. <sighs> yeah, see, we always get this kind of welcome. <laughs> and they always live to regret it. Imbiber de Lune uses his skill twice, enhancing his basic attack in the process. He leaps into the air and launches a hail of spears. But enemy reinforcements are quick to arrive, and these ones look a little scarier. <laughs> To Don Hung. He'll squish him in no time. And Barbara de Lune looks composed as he unleashes his ultimate. He inflicts serious damage on the enemy and acquires Squamasacra Sancta. Yeah, 
One more attack and these guys will be packing their bags. In a flash, Imbiber de Lune consumes his skill points and Squama Sacrosancta, enhancing his basic attack three times. He casts Fulgrant Leap, unleashing a roaring flood, washing his enemies away. <laughs> Hope you brought your life jackets. Don Hung's secret strength is secretly super, super duper strong. But do you know about his other secret strength? <laughs> I've never told anyone about it. Ooh, sounds like we're in for some breaking news, Trailblazers. Listen to this. Don Hung can hold his breath underwater for more than a hundred minutes. Kit, every video ought to do that? Oh, yeah.